hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so i haven't done one of these in a while and today we're doing a wig review this is an ali pearl wig it's a 12 inch with a 250 density as you can see it comes pre-bleached pre-plucked and ready for an install and it's also pre-curled my only issue with this wig is that i forgot to actually um, just state the wig size usually i am a medium wig cap but i think this was a small wig cap because if i pulled it to one side it wasn't like reaching on the one side and then yeah i just felt like the wig cap was small but i did eventually make a plan so what I did is that I used wig tape to hold the sides as closest to the front as possible as I could get it because the wig was small so there was no way it was going to look perfect. I did install this using the glamour spray. I honestly do prefer spray over the glue. I just don't like the hassle of removing glue off your lace or removing the glue off your forehead or removing glue off your edges like it's just too much work for me. I also personally do not like wearing a wig cap. I just feel like, I don't know, I'm just one of those people who do, does not like wig caps. So I prefer installing a wig without a wig cap. So if I apply the glue, there is high chances that it's going to go on my hair directly. So in this situation, I was using the um, glamour spray and then I'm going to lay it. But what I did realize is that because of the tapes on the side, I couldn't get the sides laid perfectly. You will see later on in the video that you can see the tape on the side because it eventually does go a little bit wide. Uh, and had I known, I would have just tried to stick down this wig without the tape. But what I actually also realized is that if the wig is small, the sides would obviously lift eventually throughout the day but the tape does help hold that wig down so i did spray the glamour spray on the back of my palm and then i'm just taking small uh bits of it to just like fix the parts that have lifted from me cutting off the lace um and i'm just pressing it down lightly this is how i literally just relay it in most cases a lot of people would then uh re melt with the melting band and i forgot to you can see i'm spraying the side there where i told you i had used tape just to try and get it to melt down but because the tape is thick um i just realized there was no way i could get that to melt down unless i had actually gone in with the melting band again but i then did try using hot air with the blow dryer and it did help in some points but not fully so i'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of the install where you see step by step what i basically did with my hair um there was nothing fancy that i did after this besides recurling my hair i didn't like the curls that came with the hair are okay if you are in a rush but i wanted my hair to look a certain way so i did decide to recurl it and then i eventually did go in with my heatless curls but that works perfectly if you're actually gonna sleep with those curls overnight i just had the curl holding the curls in um for about an hour while i did my makeup so you will see me work on that just now 